Hello everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to go over a new feature that was added to Swift UI for iOS 14, and it is called Match Geometry Effect. Now, you can think of the Match Geometry Effect as exactly like the magic move. One view will be getting inserted, and the other view will be getting removed, all using an animation. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is we're going to start very, very in small steps. I'm going to create a edge stack or a horizontal stack, and I'm just going to go ahead and add a circle. And then I'm just going to go ahead and color the circle with red color and going to get some sort of a frame, like a little bit of smaller circle, so 50 and the height is also 50. Let's go ahead and see if it displays. There we go. I'm going to push this circle onto the left hand side, which I can do using a spacer. So everything is going to get pushed to the left. Great. Now I will go ahead and add a button over here and I will call this button switch. And on the right hand side, or basically on this side, I'm going to add another circle. But let's go ahead and add another spacer so that the button is moved to the middle. And on the right hand side, I'm just going to add another circle so I can copy the circle and color it green with it in normal size, whatever size it is. There we go. So here's what I want to do. What I want to do is I want to press on the switch button. And when I press on the switch button, this circle is going to go and convert it to this circle. Well, converting is not really a right word, but this circle, the red circle, it's going to go over here. It's going to basically animate and then vanishes. And then this big green circle is going to show up. So how can we do that? Well, obviously, if you're clicking a button, you need to maintain some sort of a state. So let's go over here and I will say create a private state is switched. Or you can use any other name. This will be a boolean and it will be false. So if the switch is false, which is by default, we can go ahead and show this one. And if the switch is true, then we can show this one. So I can say over here, if is switched. And if the switch is false, I'm just going to add the bang operator right here. Then we are going to go ahead and show the circle with the red color, the small circle. However, if the switch is on or if the button is pressed, then we are going to show the big one, the green circle. And inside the button click, I'm just going to make sure that the switch is actually toggling between the on state or true state and the false state. Now, one thing I've noticed is that sometimes the animations and all those things doesn't really work in the Xcode preview. So I'm going to simply go ahead and run this. And it's going to run it on a simulator. And we should be able to see it on the simulator that what it shows us or what we have done. So there we go. You can see that right now it is showing us the red button because the is switch property or the Boolean is false and this part of the code gets executed. When I click the switch button, then the switch will toggle and this part will get executed because now the switch is turned true. So let's click the switch and you can see that one view, the red view is getting removed and the green view is getting appeared and that's working correctly. But one thing you, that you will notice is that there is no animation when the red view is then replaced by the green view. So how do we add that animation? Now, one common thing that you might end up doing is simply wrapping the toggle of the button or if this uh, switch inside with animation. So let's go ahead and do that. That will be our first step. 
And we'll see that if that adds an animation for the one view getting appear and the second view getting replaced. Let's go ahead and run this. And when we click on the switch button, you can see that it is definitely animating, but not in a case that what we wanted it to look like. What we wanted it to look like is that this view, this shape, the red circle, we should see it moving on this side and then the other view should appear. But we didn't really see that happening, did we? We simply saw the other view animating in, but we never saw this particular view, which is the red view, going towards the right hand side and then kind of like morphing into the bigger view, which is the green view. So if you check out the magic move effect in Keynote, you will realize that one view actually start moving, flying towards the destination. And then when it reaches the destination, it changes into some other view. Basically the other view, the green view, the green circle is going to uh, come in and replace the red view. So how do we do all of that stuff? And that is where the match geometry comes into play. So match geometry effect takes in two arguments. There is a ID and the namespace. The ID is simply to uniquely identify that kind of effect. So two IDs should match. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna put ID as an animation, but you can, it's a string, so you can put it anything you want. For the namespace, and the reason that you specify namespace is that you may have the same ID in the same file but you may have the same ID in other files also. So in order to distinguish between different files and different views for the ID, you use the namespace. And they have a completely different property wrapper for the namespace, which is called namespace private var, and I'm just gonna call it namespace. So let's go ahead and pass it over here, namespace. And I'm gonna use the same exact one for the green view or the green circle. This means that this part with the same ID and the same namespace is going to be the beginning point because if switch is false and it's going to magic move into this particular circle, which is green and using with they're using the same exact IDs, which is important that they're using the same exact IDs and same exact namespace. So if I go ahead and run the application now, There we go. Now you will see a different effect. So I'm gonna say switch and see that? That's much better. That's kind of like the magic move effect that I was talking about. You can see that the red view or the red circle actually starts moving onto the right hand side and then kind of morphs into the bigger green view. And this is a kind of a very cool effect because we can use it to create many of the amazing animations, which I'll explain later that how we can do those things. Now, one of the other things that you can do is when it is on, how about if we put everything inside some sort of a uh, stack, like a vertical stack. So how would it actually look like if all of these things were inside a vertical stack? So I'm just gonna say V stack. And I'm just gonna get this circle, part of the this circle. So I have one more red circle and I have another red circle. And between the two red circles, there will be the green view. So let's go ahead and run this. So now you should see two different red circles appearing. And I'm gonna click on the switch and see that they, the other two red circle kind of like expands to give place to the green view to appear. So you can see that you can create all of these really nice cool effects, uh, which are only limited by your imagination in, in very quickly in a very short amount of time. 
And later on, I will go into more details of how you can create uh, more fantastic effects like the music player in your, uh, you know, movie, uh, the Move Music app or the Movies app. And we'll, we'll check it out that how you can build those things. So hopefully after this video, you have a little bit more idea of what exactly is match geometry effect and how you can use it. The whole idea is basically one view is going to get removed from the hierarchy and the other view is going to get added to the view hierarchy. And that's it. Pretty cool, right? If you want to learn more about Cif UI, then check out my best-selling course, which is Cif UI Declarative Interfaces for Any Apple Device. This is a close to a 20 plus hours course, which is going to cover everything that you have ever imagined about Cif UI. Starting with creating combining views, list and navigation, even the MVVM design pattern, which is integral in developing Cif UI applications. Then we are going to look a very basic introduction to core data with Cif UI, and then move on to creating stocks app, near me app, even new morphic design, and a huge section on Cif UI 2.0. I'm also going to show you how you can integrate HealthKit with Cif UI to generate the graphs for your walking steps. This is a great course, and you can get it for a very great price. So check out the YouTube description for links to all of my courses and please use the links for the courses that will really help me a lot. Thank you so much and I hope that you enjoy the course.